So Outriders is the next of a long line of looter shooters that have come along where people are asking, will this kill Destiny? Some people are stating, this game will kill Destiny. Well I know one thing, the Destiny community needs Outriders. How's it going guys, my name's DPJ and if you enjoyed this video leaving a like really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more be sure to subscribe. So will Outriders kill Destiny? The simple answer is no, Outriders will not kill Destiny. Nothing will kill Destiny. Well actually that's a lie. The only thing that is capable of killing Destiny is Destiny itself. But Warframe, The Division, Anthem, Godfall or Outriders will never kill Destiny. Wanna know why? Destiny has already established a very hardcore fan base. The game is now incapable of dying. It doesn't matter how bad the game gets, and we've witnessed some pretty bad states. It doesn't matter how stale and dry the content gets, where well, we've witnessed some pretty dry times. The fan base is there and it's in the millions. No game will ever release, which in my opinion will kill that off. It's impossible now. Yes games will be better, yes they will offer more, but like I said, Destiny is Destiny and the only thing that kills Destiny is itself, which in my opinion is what it's been slowly doing for a long time. The only people who stand behind the current seasonal content trip BS Power Chase Endgame are people who never played within the good old days or have short memories. Yes there are people out there who defend Destiny, I'm one of them. I started this video defending it. But one would argue it's slowly going downhill. It doesn't have anywhere near the consistency in terms of people playing it like it used to and that alone tells you just what you need to know. But in saying this and that Destiny is the only Destiny killer I will state, how many games have we witnessed where people assume they will arrive and steal Destiny's player base and kill Destiny off? People started looking at this new awesome Destiny Cross Iron Man Looter Shooter which has everything Destiny has but you can fly and explore worlds and earn incredible looking loot and raid with your friends yet the game released only to be trash upon its release. And this is just one instance, we've had quite a few of these instances and it makes you wonder, have we just been spoiled by Destiny and is it in reality a masterpiece? Well I will leave you to answer that down below. Now going back to what I said earlier about the Destiny community needing Outriders and needing it to be a great game, here is why. Outriders is actually a promising looking looter shooter. No matter what way you look at it, it looks like it could offer something great. What it offers though, we will compare to Destiny later on. But in my opinion, Bungie needs competition. With healthy competition, I feel it will kick Bungie up that backside and they will sort their shit out. Because let's face it, I actually believe Bungie think they can get away with whatever they want and people will still swallow it, which I have learned over time to be somewhat true. So if Outriders is a promising game and it does steal some of their player base of Destiny, I actually think this would drive Bungie to do more. Now I tweeted this out which you can see on screen now, which for the most part people agreed. But you did have the odd person trying to be little outriders and completely take out of context what I meant by this tweet. Saying idiotic things like outriders will never kill destiny as it's a one and done game or because it isn't a life service game or it has no end game or it has no pvp. Well firstly like I said nothing will ever kill destiny besides itself where it's slowly doing that. In terms of not being a life service game I actually think that's a great thing. Anyway, a live service game can't make a game better when that service is shit. Outriders is a one and done, well that's bullshit and as for no end game, that's utter nonsense too. So Destiny right now we have seasonal resets and sunsetting which makes us farm the same loot and same levels over and over. We get a couple of extra exotics and being nice a new subclass and raid every year or two. But Destiny as a whole right now I would agree there is a ton of content for the new player. But if you ain't a new player, you probably get bored pretty quick. With Outriders on its release, we have four very different character classes to play, each having super in-depth skill trees. 
3 with each, with up to 70 or more perks on said skill trees, where you can mix and match for the most part and create that ultimate build. You also have incredible looking abilities with 8 on each character. We have a 40 plus hour campaign. Triple that if you do all the side missions and quests and much more. With it 50 plus legendos, this game's exotics which I've counted so far, maybe a ton more upon release. Multiple massive open areas with many many hidden secrets and things for you to find. We have quest givers, bounties, monster hunts, side light strikes and much much more including over 350 mods which changes the way this game plays like nothing you have ever seen. A little instance of that. Imagine in Destiny when dismantling exotics you got the intrinsic perk as a mod. For instance, dismantling the cloud strike we get the mortar polarity as a mod. Now imagine if we could then apply that mod, that intrinsic perk mod to another exotic and have two intrinsics. A hawk moon with power casual shot and mortar polarity. Amazing right? Well within Outriders you can do this. Legendaries in Outriders, which is this game's exotic like I said, they have those unique mods tied to them. Dismantling that means you learn that mod. You can then apply that mod to another legendary which has its own unique mod too. So that one legendary then would rock and offer the benefits of two different legendaries. You can't try and tell me that don't sound cool. But like I said that's just one instance with the crafting system in this game. And all of these people and all this earning and all this playthrough comes within that 40 hour story. But when we finish that guys, you then move on to the true end game. 14 light strike missions which only go up in level for you to play and farm for incredible loot. That's after you've done playing and farming or even going back to what you can earn throughout the story campaign. Which I will add guys, this end game of 14 strike like missions and then when you think you're powerful enough there's another 15th activity which at the moment people are thinking will be like a raid activity. I mean yes you could agree Destiny right now has more. I will not disagree with you. But Outriders is a brand new game, Destiny now is how many years old? And as for there being no PvP in Outriders, I see this as nothing but a great thing. PvP in the opinions of many breaks the balance of Destiny due to things being buffed and nerfed way too often and one holding the other back. Which I have said in the past is a tool I think Bungie uses to break the balance of the game making one thing powerful taking it, nerfing it into the ground, making another thing powerful which just changes the meta altogether. This in a way keeps the game feeling fresh and I've been doing this for a long long time within the meta driven PvP side of this game. Plus many many people think PvP holds Destiny back. I wouldn't agree with that at all, I actually think for a long time PvP carried the game and Bungie owe it much more. PvP in my opinion is the best part about Destiny right now, it's what keeps me going back even though I suck at it. But in terms of how it affects the game and how one holds the other back, I much prefer either a PvE or a PvP dedicated game, so I much prefer one or the other, so I'm glad Outriders is PvE only. Now as I'm making this video, Outriders isn't even out, it could arrive and fail, but I just don't think it will. It has a free to play demo on February 25th, everyone can give it a try. You don't have to pre-order to play or anything like that, it's free to play. And then if you enjoy the game when the game comes out on April 1st, all your progression from that demo carries over to the full game. But yeah guys, everyone knows Outriders is not the game to kill Destiny. But that doesn't mean you can't take a break from Destiny to play and enjoy it. You ain't bound to Destiny nor will you be cheating on it if you play something else within the same genre. Well I'm pretty sure some people think this way. The best thing for Destiny in my opinion like I said is for Outriders to be an incredible loot shooter and it kickstarts Bungie into offering us much more. Now most people have written Outriders off before it's even started due to past experiences with games like Anthem the so called destiny killers and if I'm honest this was indeed my first way of thinking too but the more I learned about Outriders the more I got excited for it. I actually believe it will be a great game but hey I've definitely been let down in the past thinking this way so we will see guys. But yes the answer to the question is no Outriders will not kill destiny. Best case scenario it makes destiny a better game. 
And on that note, the end of the video has arrived. If you enjoyed it, leaving a like really helps out. If you're new around here and want to see more Destiny, Outriders, whatever, be sure to subscribe. And hopefully, people, I will see you on that next one.